The solution to the PKK lies in the education system. While the Tsarist system was powerful and predominant in Russia, the Marxist mindset espoused by Lenin and a few of his comrades was not regarded as a serious threat. However, that mindset subsequently grew powerful enough to suddenly bring down the entire Tsarist system, to impose communism across Russia, and to cost the lives of millions of people. The main reason for that was that Lenin and his supporters had a belief and a philosophy, albeit a perverse one, while although Tsarist Russia was supported by millions of people, it had no ideology. Let us remind ourselves that the communist anarchist PKK embarked on its activities by bringing out a small magazine. The PKK, which has a Marxist-Leninist-Stalinist ideology, and which committed its first actions by slaughtering Kurds, now enjoys the backing of the deep apparatuses of numerous western states and has established control over the southeast of Turkey. The sole reason for that is that it also has a belief in an ideology, albeit a perverse one, and that it fights on behalf of that ideology. It is a good thing that the Turkish people take part in protests against terror in large numbers with Turkish flags in their hands. However, so long as there is no accompanying philosophical and ideological campaign in Turkey, organizations such as the PKK will remain unaffected by such mass protests. Marxism has always defied the majority. Being opposed by a numerous community, therefore, does not deter Marxist terrorists. The PKK can only be countered by eliminating the faults believed in their minds, and thus through a counter-intellectual and ideological activity. The ideological roots of Marxism lie in Darwinism, itself a total deception, and it is easy to disprove Darwinism by the use of scientific evidence. Sadly, however, Darwinism is taught as if it were the unvarnished truth in Turkish schools, and children in those schools receive the same educational foundation as that given by the PKK up in the mountains. The PKK therefore harbors not the slightest doubt concerning the perverse philosophy it espouses, and it sees that its own perverse philosophy is taught as if it were established scientific fact in almost all classes. This terrifying state of affairs actually results in more adherence of the PKK's ideology, rather than producing a young generation capable of refuting it. People need to be aware that Turkey is going through a very difficult time and is in a vital fight against terror. The main reason why terror has grown so strong is the way that people in schools are told that our most distant ancestors wore microbes and that life forms came into being by chance. In other words, the backers of this theory explicitly defy and deny God's existence by openly stating God doesn't exist. God is surely beyond this, of course. As long as this erroneous education is supported, God may remind them with constant troubles. Evolution can continue to be taught in schools under the heading of general culture, but it must also be refuted with full scientific evidence. Explaining in an unbiased manner and exhibiting fossil remains of specimens that are alive today demonstrate that living beings have not undergone any change for millions of years. This fact makes it possible to understand that evolution is not supported by any scientific data using fossil records and that the theory of evolution is essentially nonsense. People who subconsciously surrender to evolution because they lack the ability to provide a scientific rebuttal to it, and who therefore sit on the sidelines and say, evolution has in any case had its day, are unable to engage in such a scientific campaign. People properly equipped to wage such a scientific struggle therefore need to step up to the plate. Together with changes in the school curriculum, we also wish to see the state broadcaster, TRT, and all official media organizations become involved and mobilize all the means at their disposal for such a campaign. Our young people can only intellectually oppose the ideology of the PKK when they are capable of scientifically rebutting Darwinism, materialism, and Marxism, and when they are raised with powerful national and spiritual values. The PKK will only disappear once its ideology is eliminated.